Welcome to Build Complex Express Sites with Redis and Socket I.O. by Pact Publishing. I am Joshua Johannan, and I am the author of Building Scalable Apps with Redis and Node.js and the Web Developer's Reference Guide. Both of these books are available from Pact Publishing. I highly recommend them. In addition to this, I am also the author and presenter of the video series The Complete Guide to Node.js by Pact Publishing. Now, I've been a developer for over 10 years. I've used many different languages and frameworks over that time. These have included PHP, Python, .NET using C Sharp, and JavaScript on both the front end in browsers and on the back end using Node.js. I also try to make regular blog posts at my blog, ejosh.co de. In this course, we will look at two great technologies that many people use to make websites, Redis and Socket.io. They each add complexity during development, and we will discuss what that means and how to best use each technology. First, we'll look at Redis. Redis is a data structure store. If you have not used one before, there is a learning curve. This is especially true if you have experience with an RDBMS, a Relational Database Management System. In the first section, we're just going to learn basically how to use Redis. So if you've never used Redis before, this is the perfect section. We'll start from someone having no knowledge to knowing what the commands are and the storage structures. Then in the next section, we'll move on to Redis messaging. From here, we can learn what channels are and publish subscribe is. Then in the next section, we'll learn how to integrate Redis and Node.js. So we'll learn how to launch and use the correct package for Redis and then how to use the messaging and all those commands that we learned earlier. Then in the next section is going to be basically how to use Socket.io, which we'll talk about what Socket.io is, what it allows you to do, which is to make very real-time applications. Then we'll talk about using rooms and namespaces in Socket.io. These are ways that we can subset users and send messages just to specific groups. Then finally, we'll talk about using Socket.io with Express. Now Socket.io and Express are both two different frameworks that run on top of Node.js. And because of that, there are some integration steps and points that we will learn about. Now some knowledge of Node.js and Express is required for this course. You do not need to be a master of each, but hopefully you've created a project or two in each of these technologies. No previous knowledge of Redis or Socket.io is assumed. In addition to this, you will need Node.js installed. Anything in the version 6 range will work, as that is the current release that will become a long-term support. Now, if you are not familiar with Node.js, then I wholeheartedly recommend my video series, The Complete Guide to Node.js. It will take you through everything you will need to know to start this course. Now, in addition to Node.js, you will just need any text editor. I will be using GitHub's Atom editor, but you can use whatever text editor you are comfortable with. And finally, you will need Docker installed to work with Redis. If you do not have Docker installed, I will show you where you can download an easy to use installer in the first video. At this point, you are probably tired of hearing me talking and you're ready to start building something. And you know what? So am I. So let's go ahead and start the course.